Hello, it's Dr. Lizbeth Alter. Do you have high blood pressure? This is becoming a more common diagnosis, and the reason is as, as Americans, we're, we've gained a lot of weight. So obesity is a big factor when it comes to high blood pressure. If you're on high blood pressure medicines, it's important that you stay on them. But we also want to work on conservative measures to help have the most minimal doses of high blood pressure. And we also want to work on prevention for patients who may be showing some elevations in their blood pressure but not yet have the diagnosis of high blood pressure. So what is normal blood pressure? Normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. So the 120 is the systolic number, or the top number, and 80 is the diastolic or the bottom number. So for every 10 points that go up in your bottom number, and for every 20 points that go up in your top number, that increases, um, it actually doubles your risk of heart disease and stroke. So make sure that you're monitoring it and seeing, checking for these elevations. So in general, 120 over 80 is normal, but the, the diagnosis of high blood pressure is not made until your blood pressure is above 140 over 90. But again, it, you wanna try to maintain that blood pressure at 120 over 80, and if you start seeing elevations, uh, be concerned about that. So what can you do if it starts going up? Well, make sure you're on magnesium. Magnesium is a very necessary mineral to relax the arteries, um, having your greens, um, exercising, and of course, as I always mention, detoxification. One of the reasons that we have high blood pressure is because of all the toxins and heavy metals that accumulate in our body. So detoxing every six months is important. So um, power of detox or a detox kit similar to that is important. Also whey protein really helps lower blood pressure. So there are many conservative things that can be done. So again, if you if you have high blood pressure, it's important that you stay on your medicines. But remember, um, as functional medicine doctors, we can help you keep your doses from increasing the doses of your high blood pressure medicine. And sometimes with weight loss and, and very aggressive lifestyle modifications, I have seen patients be able to um, get off their high blood pressure medicine. But of course, this should not be done on your own, but under the supervision of a doctor. So, um, so keep these things in mind and um, it, don't go crazy checking your blood pressure. I have, I've had patients that check it daily and this is not the thing to do. You want to check it maybe once or twice a week if you're concerned. Uh, otherwise, once a month is usually fine. So thank you again for following me on Facebook, um, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube, and have a healthy day.